Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Salut tout le monde, c'est moi Patricia, bienvenue à ma chaîne. If you are new here, this video is for you. Why? Because we are in the year 2023 where we are taking our language learning seriously. I want to share with you all some tips and tricks on strategies that will hopefully help you, help me, as we journey together in the language learning world of languages. <laughs> Anyway, there might be a glare with these glasses, so I'm going to go ahead and take these off right now. So let's get started. All right. So there are some things that I actually picked up from some other videos. One of them happens to be from, and I've got my notebook here because I want to talk to you all about this fun stuff. Um, I recently came upon a video from this woman. Her name is Kiara Thomas, um, that she had a video basically on how she learned Spanish so quickly and she was self-taught. I was inspired by it and so a lot of the information that I have on this video that I'm going to share with you all is basically coming from her and I'll link her video below so that you can also just hear it directly from her yourself. So anyway, my first strategy is commitment. Y'all, I fell off. I fell off from learning my language and I feel a little bad about that. I feel a lot of bad about that actually because 2022 was very distracting in a good way. As you all know, um, I got married. Uh, we had an elopement and a wedding. And we also moved from one state to the other, from Florida to the New Jersey, New York area. And so because of that, something kind of fell to the wayside and that happened to be my Francais. So this is my opportunity to get it together, to move forward with it, to pursue fluency. And I'm hoping that that happens. I'm really inspired to do so, and hopefully you will be too. And one of the things that, like I said, was being committed. No more distractions. It doesn't mean that life doesn't happen because it will, but this is a chance to actually commit. What does that look like? Daily commitment, okay? We're talking about scheduling a specific time and days, plural here, hopefully it's every day, to build that habit of learning that language. Um, that means doing homework. That means actually not sitting in front of the TV on Netflix. I've been watching Better Call Saul and that's been awesome. But taking that time of an hour to really just hone in, listen in, rinse and repeat, go over the stuff that I um, recently learned or that I've already learned and to make sure I've got it locked in, you know? So time commitment is one of the things that I definitely think will be the foundation for picking up the language again and actually moving forward with it. Okay, what else we got here? <laughs> I mentioned building that habit, of course, um, and that's something that Kiara Thomas mentioned in her video of how she built that habit. And one of the things that she would do is that she included learning the language. For her, it was Spanish um, in her everyday routine. And that's something that I actually did not think of doing for myself. Um, so I'm like, wow, can I explain my daily routine to someone in French? No, I can't. So that is one of, the, one of my goals is to be able to build my vocabulary and say what my, what my day looks like. I get up in the morning, I get dressed, I get ready for work, I make my lunch, I take the train to work, I have what my commute looks like, those sentences, I need to be able to say them in French and right now I, I'm not able to. So that means putting my routine together so I can be able to share it with someone else who is a native speaker or someone else who's learning the language so I can exchange that information. But right now, since I don't know how to do that, that is going to be my goal, being able to share my routine. And maybe this is helpful for you all as well, I hope it is. That you can take with your um take with your put in your arsenal so you can learn your language learning whatever that may be hopefully it's well say though hopefully um another thing that she's mentioned that i've kind of done this already actually i have been doing this but i fell off on it as well this is all <laughs> an opportunity for me to be honest for me to be transparent for me to be able to share with you all so hopefully you guys wouldn't mind partnering with me so that we can learn this all together and and stay on the course stay on the path so music my last video vlogmas day seven i was supposed to do seven videos 12 videos excuse me and that didn't happen i fell off but anyway vlogmas day seven i talk about my favorite uh french artists to listen to 
great opportunity to pick that up and to actually listen to the music and write down the lyrics so that, that I can learn the language even better. And that's what I'm gonna do. Somewhere I've linked in this video, in this frame, um, the link to that. So check out that video where if you're looking for an opportunity to learn the language through song, I mentioned some of the French artists that I've acquired um, in my playlist that hopefully will help you as well. So daily listening to the music. And I gotta say real quick, so there was a point where I was learning uh, Spanish when I was in high school as a teenager. And I would listen to Selena. Selena and her Como La Flor. Um, um, say Una Vez, uh, I think that's what it was called. I can't even remember. Bidi Bidi Bum Bum, all of those really did help. And great opportunity to do that, of course. Right. Another thing that I am reintroducing into my arsenal will have to is actually apps. Um, I was using Duolingo for some time. I started getting back into it again, but I'm finding that Duolingo doesn't always make sense. <laughs> I'm not trying to hate on that app. I do enjoy it. It does help. It has helped to launch me forward back in 2020. Um, but I am probably going to be on a hunt to look for something that's a little bit more um, catered to what I, I need for my uh, language learning needs. So that doesn't mean I'm throwing it away because I do love Duolingo. It's just, you know, it's not the same. I don't know. It's just, it's not the same for me at least. So um, in the meantime, between time, I will continue using it until I can find an app that will work best for me. And I actually have a video about language learning apps as well. So maybe perhaps I'll revisit my own video, okay? And go back and learn some of this, um, the French that way. <laughs> I hope you guys didn't hear the blaring of the horns in the background. If you did, I live in a city, so it is what it is. Um, I got two more things for you guys. What I don't want to do, but I will do it, is actually have my phone in French. Convert the language from English over to French. Now, the, the YouTuber Kiara did mention that that was tough for her. I think that's going to be tough for me, but I'm just going to stick with it. I'm not going to quit. We're here. We've got to get this. And I want to see where I'm at from one year to the next. So if that means putting the language of French into my phone, so be it. Then that's what we're gonna do, right? So challenge accepted, challenge accepted. Oh gosh. All right, and so the last thing that she mentioned that I, I figured that was also very helpful, it is connected with the whole class course, taking a course and learning the language, of course. Um, course of course but I also she also mentioned just finding people to speak with and there are platforms and apps for that as well so I'm thinking about going into that I believe italki because I did mention that some time ago in a previous video does offer that there may be newer platforms that I'm gonna do some research on and come back to you got to you guys about to y'all about so we'll see um, so lots of work lots of work but I think it'll be worth it and the goals for 2023 french language learning goals and strategy all right so i hope this video helped you out if it did give me a thumbs up if it did not give me a thumbs up <laughs> feel free to subscribe where we are on this journey of learning the language and becoming fluent in french thanks so much guys and have a great 2023 bye